Hi, this is Mrs. M, and I'm reading chapters 11 and 12 of Marvin Redpost. Is he a girl? It was really very simple. The secret difference between boys and girls was... Suddenly his foot slipped and he fell off the spider web. But he never hit the ground. Marvin found himself hanging upside down by his knees, just like Judy Jasper. He let himself hang there for a moment. Huh, it felt good. Besides, he wasn't sure how to get free without falling the rest of the way. Hey, Marvin, cried Nick. How'd you do that? Marvin, are you all right? called Mrs. North. I think so, he said. He tried to get back up. He swung by his knees and reached out and grabbed the web by one hand. He wove his hand in and out of the web to get a good grip. Then he slowly freed one leg. Careful, said Mrs. North. He pulled on the web with his free hand. The next thing he knew, his elbow jerked almost to his mouth. He pulled the web again, and his elbow jerked toward his mouth. He pulled, and he kept on pulling. His elbow moved closer. It felt like his arm was breaking, and he stretched out his lips. What are you doing, Marvin? Stuart called up to him. It felt like his shoulder was going to pop out. He gave it one hard yank. The next thing he knew, he was falling head first for the ground. Marvin, screamed Patsy. But as he hit the sand, he kissed himself on the elbow. Marvin, are you okay? asked Mrs. North. Are you all right, Marvin? asked Patsy. Should we call the ambulance? said Stuart. Hey, are you dead? asked Clarence. Marvin opened up his eyes. I saw, said Cassie. Chapter 12 Normal Monday morning Marvin walked to school with Nick and Stuart. He tossed his football up in the air. He never could remember the secret difference between boys and girls. That was silly anyway, he realized. I just had weird thoughts because I was so tired. Boys don't turn into girls. All he needed was a good night's sleep. And then he was back to normal. Except he really did have a cold, which is why his voice sounded strange. Girls are just stupid and weird. That's the secret difference between girls and boys. He entered the classroom. Clarence was sharpening his pencil. <gasps> Marvin suddenly remembered all the things he had said to Clarence at Lake Park. I must have been out of my mind. I could have been killed. He decided to apologize just to be safe. Clarence backed up when he saw Marvin. What do you want, he said. He sounded kind of nervous. Um, just uh, sorry about Friday. I, I, I didn't get much sleep, and I don't know what I was say, saying. Marvin held out his hand. Okay? Clarence smiled. He no longer seemed nervous. Yeah, well, you're lucky I didn't knock your teeth out, he said. He shook Marvin's hand. As Marvin walked back to the desk, Clarence shoved him in the back. 
I saw you, said Claire, uh, Cassie, when you fell from the spider web. You kissed your elbow. And I'm still a boy, said Marvin, so what? that just proves you're weird. Cassie sang softly so only Marvin could hear. Marvin's rude, Marvin's crude, Marvin eats donkey food. I'll get you at recess, Callie, he said. Marvin, said Mrs. Nor. what was that? Marvin won't quit bothering me, Cassie complained. He says he's going to get me at recess. Marvin, quit bothering Cassie, said Mrs. North. I know she's pretty, but you need to keep your eyes on your book, not on Cassie. Everyone laughed, and Marvin turned red. At recess, he headed to the wall ball court with Nick and Stuart. Look, said Nick, there's Patsy Gatsby. Marvin and Stuart laughed. Patsy Gatsby was plain jacks all by herself. Of all the weirdest things he did Friday, Marvin thought talking to her was the weirdest. He shook his head. He remembered his conversation with her. She said that he was nice. Patsy looked up from her jacks. Hi, Marvin, she said. He walked right past her. Hi, Marvin said Stuart with a funny voice as he gently shoved Marvin. Nick laughed. Marvin pushed Nick back. They got in line for wall ball. Marvin looked at Patsy. She didn't have any of friends. Everybody just made fun of her. Hold my place, he said. He went back to her. He still thought Jack's looked like a pretty fun game, but he was embarrassed to play with play it. Hey, Patsy, do you want to play wall ball? Patsy quickly stuffed her jacks into her pocket and she came to the wall ball court, all smiles. I promised to teach her how to play, Marvin explained to his friends. Hi, said Patsy. Uh, hi, said Stuart. Nick grunted. The end.